second attempt at printing the Gombok, or however it's pronounced. This time I'm printing it on the sharpest, sharpest, sharpest point or edge. Which means I had to use support columns, pillars to stop it falling over. Printing it solid again. I'm just hoping that printing it that way round, any distortion will be on an edge that doesn't matter. Getting close. Says 99% there. It's been going for 16 hours 23 minutes. But I think it's still got quite a way to go. That's in not just a few seconds. Obviously, I'm time lapsing it anyway. That's it. 16 hours 28 minutes, according to that. Now we've got to let it cool down before we can actually have a close look at it. Still not perfect, is it? Still, we'll let it cool down and then we'll have a look. Right, it's heavy again. Right, this is the bit I got to clean up. My reasoning was that ridge there. If there's imperfections in that, it's still going to fall over. Whereas before we had imperf imperfections around here, which meant it tended to sit where it shouldn't. The idea is no matter where you put it, it should always end up Like that. Obviously we've got a little bit of a ridge left there. I think we can see that just about on the camera. Yeah, where you've got the layer lines. I mean I could try rubbing it down with sandpaper or something like that. It'll never be perfect. Uh, if you print it with one of the other materials you can um, polish it with various liquids acetone but it doesn't seem to work for PLA yeah if we look there come on focus again yeah we I think getting rid of those ridges won't be a problem it will still roll around in the right way uh, no it shouldn't be able to stop in that position should reset itself like that. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's what it should do. You put it anywhere else, 
it should eventually do that, but not stop there. Yeah, I'll, I will get the those rough bits off. That's fairly easy to do, but I still don't think it's going to be perfect. Well, I think I can confidently say it won't be perfect. Yeah. Still, I gave it two tries. I don't think I'll give it a third try. I've polished it a little bit, or rubbed off the rough edges anyway, using a emery board. That's why it's gone a little bit sort of dull. But that does um, help it a bit. You start off on an edge there somewhere. That's certainly working better than the first one I did. Although the first one I didn't try polishing. So obviously polishing it up helps. I could do even more. I, I'm just not sure how far you can go polishing it before you actually start destroying the important shape. bigger space to let's try it there somewhere Yep, that's working much better. I've no doubt that if I carry on filming it will stick in the wrong place at some time. And I still don't know how to pronounce the name properly. It's not Gombok. It's like Gumbuck. That was uninteresting. I know some people will suggest putting it over a flame to get rid of the rough edges, but again, that would worry me about distorting it. So I think the best I can do is just rub it down and then, I don't know, I could probably even rub it on the carpet just to polish it up again a bit. If you get it too hot, it will melt and that will damage it. So if you're rubbing it too fast, That'd be bad.
Ah, got it to fail. Just needed a little bit more energy to do that. So not perfect, but significantly better than my first attempt. Links in the video description to the original files on Thingiverse. I'm getting more successes than fails anyway. That'll do. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.